Man, listen. Don't be afraid to try something that you always had always had the dream of doing. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there to create something that you don't know how to create it. When I started my journey back in 2020, I, I started. I started because I believed in myself. As I believed in myself, things started to happen. What's what what became what what started to happen? Here's the here's the thing. There's a quote in the Bible that says, faith without work is dead. But a lot of times we're praying, as we're praying to God, we asking God for the answer, but God has given us the answer because he wants us to take daily action, right? So with dreams, dreams comes with work, right? Dreams equals work. I can dream all day. I can have a thought all day, but what's different from having uh, something that's in my mind and bringing it to reality, are you willing to put the work in each and every day? I've learned that the best way I want to grow and to learn yourself is that you have to, I have to learn how to work with myself, not just myself, my thoughts, not just my thoughts, my dreams, my aspirations, everything that I have going on in order to create something different, right? So as I was starting, I didn't know I would be here today. I didn't know everything that I'm doing today as far as being a public speaker, content creator, creating, uh, have a podcast, speaking to people about their problems, about growth, about how they develop as a human being. I never thought I would be doing that today if I didn't start back in 2020. Yes, it's been two years, but when I started my journey, it was in real estate. I was learning about real estate. I'm like, okay, real estate is very lucrative. How can I make it lucrative for myself? I wasn't organized. I was taking imperfect action, which means which means that I was figuring it out as I was going. I was figuring out as I was going. So imperfect action means that you're figuring out as you're taking the steps to grow. Imperfect action. Meaning, you're not gonna have all the answers to everything. I've learned that the best way to start is to believe in the outcome that's not there yet, that's not presented yet. You create the outcome as you're going along the process. You create the the change as you're taking daily action each and every day. I had to learn that in order for me to to really change the the trajectory of my life, I had to do things that were out of the ordinary. Meaning I had to get comfortable being uncomfortable. What does this look like? It means that I have to get up every day and pursue something that I don't know what I'm what's being pursued about. Real estate is, is is if you're not organized, you be all over the place, meaning that you're losing uh, contacts that you're supposed to be following up with. Not just contacts, people that it could be a potential deal, it could not be a potential deal, but everybody that you come encounter with, it is very vital that you keep in, keep a track of them. Because if you lose track of everybody that you're speaking with, excuse me, you don't have a business. Not only do you not have a business, you have no way to follow up. Not only are you not following up, there's no strategic planning behind this. See, a business is more just the, I'm going to start a business. You know, I'm going to have an idea. I'm going to start something. I'm going to create it from the ground, from the, from the ground and work my way all the way up to the top. It doesn't work like that. A business is more than just a thought. A business is organization. How, how can I organize my thoughts and to put into the daily action, daily planner? Because if I don't do this, I don't know how to keep up with my numbers. I don't, I don't know who I'm speaking with. I don't know why I'm speaking with them. I, I can't remember because there's so many people. So when I, what I've learned is that imperfect actions leads you to better opportunities. Meaning as I'm taking daily action, I was able to find my mentors. Mike and Brigley on Steve Anderson, they taught me so much how to run a business, how to do this every day, how to keep track of your numbers. Why keep track of your numbers is very vital. Because if you don't if you don't keep track of your numbers, you can't really refer to what's working and what's not working. That's why it's so under that's why it's so important for you to believe that when you start you're able to see the unknown. Meaning that it, the, the picture is not there. The picture is not there unless you're constantly taking daily action. Daily action. That's daily Daily action means that it's self-explanatory, but I'm gonna break it down a little bit more. If you miss one day, you have to make up for the day. 
So since I was taking imperfect actions, let's just say I was thinking, speaking, I get home Monday, I, I start looking at homes, start looking at properties, but nothing was working out because I was inconsistent. But so I do a Monday, take a break off Tuesday, then do a Wednesday, Thursday. So of course I wasn't able to close a lot of deals because I was not consistent with it. I would I was really inconsistent with the process because I understand what was going on. So I was learning, but I didn't, I was I was learning, but I wasn't implementing why I was learning, if that made sense. So I just I just figure out along the way. I just figure out along the way. And here's what I learned is that the best lesson comes when you don't know what where the lesson is going to come from. I didn't know what, what was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to be created. I did not know. So back in 2020, I started in real estate. 2022 has been the hardest year because I find myself and I find my purpose. What is my purpose? My purpose is educating the masses on how to believe in yourself, to have faith, confidence, while you be persistent along your journey. And it's difficult to do this once we don't understand what we're doing. Once we have no clue of why we're doing what we're doing the way that we're doing it. Uh, my goal, my intention is to be a public speaker. So every day I'm going to practice my craft because if you don't practice your craft, it's kind of like a waste of talent. There's a, there's a there's a story in the Bible, parable of the talent. And it goes like this. So a wealthy man called his servants, called three servants, and told them, come, y'all, y'all come here, y'all come over here. So before the, the wealthy man left, he distributed talents to each of the individuals. So the first one, he received three, second received two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The first one received five, the second received two, and the last one received one. So he said, I will be back on, on my departure. On, on, once I return on my departure, then we can see how everything has been going. So the man proceeds to leave. As he's leaving, he left. He left. So the man with five talents, he doubled it, compounded, and now he has 10. The man that has two, it's the same thing. Now he has four. The man that has one, he dug a hole and put the talent inside the hole. When the man returned, when the wealthy man returned, came back to the service. So how did everybody do? He, uh, the one that had five talents, he said, I've done, I double it. The papers were short. I've been a good paper servant. The next one that had two. Said I double it as well. The paper was a show. The good and faith, good and faithful servant. That was like I knew you was coming back, so I, I hid the the talent, so I wanted to give it give it to you when you arrived back. So God proceeds to say, you wasted your talent. So He took His talent from Him and gave it to the guy that had ten. Why did He do that? Because talent is not used is going to be wasted. We all have talent. We all have some type of skill that we're that we want to do it, we're good at doing. See, here's the thing about skill and talent. Here's the thing about skill and talent. Here's the thing about skill and talent. Everything is learnable. Everything is learnable. Every skill that's out here in the world is learnable. Why do I say that? Because when I was playing football, my high school career, my in high school, my ninth and tenth grade wasn't that good. I was not that good. I didn't play varsity. I even touched the field. I touched JV field just to get some reps in, get some uh some practice in. But that was it. That's all I did. I went to practice. As I went to practice the games they had for ninth and tenth grade, those are the games that I played in. I, I wasn't developed as a player and or did I understand what it took to become this player. So my ninth and tenth grade, I didn't play varsity. I didn't play um on Friday. I played on Monday. Meaning I didn't play when everybody was in the crowd. Nobody was in the crowd. So what the the talent that I had that I, that I had, it was for that specific moment. It's for ninth and tenth grade because I didn't know how to develop more talent, develop more skill, develop more understanding, develop more repetition, develop more practice. I didn't understand that. That that concept wasn't in my mind because I was just going with the flow. I was going with the flow. So my eleven, my going on to the eleventh grade year, during the summer camp, a guy named Coach Stavely, he put me in linebacker. 
when the seat puts place in linebacker, that's when I start to get my feet underneath me. I start making plays. I start understanding. I start learning. I start growing. I start realizing. I'm like, oh, okay, this is what it takes to be a player. It was two players called, uh, and their names was Malcolm and Andrew. They both of them was linebackers, but their work ethic was phenomenal. Not only phenomenal, every day they showed up and worked out and worked their bus off and worked like they was playing in a Friday night game. They didn't take no shortcuts because there's no shortcuts to success. There's no shortcuts to greatness. There's no shortcuts to changing your parameter. So as I'm watching them, as I'm as I'm observing them, they come, they, they come in every day to work, to grind, to grow, to work, to grind, to grow, to work, to grind, to grow. So it hit me, it really dawned on me. If I want to be this the player that I know I can be, I need to start putting in work behind the scenes. So that's what happened. My 11th grade year, I was staying after practice, working on my craft. After practice was like at home, I was watching film, studying the plays, studying the positions, studying the how how the team runs, what what plays they run, what it looked like, what is what it sounds like. So I'm constantly studying behind the scene. What is my assignment? I understand my assignment as a linebacker. I have to know my position so I can know everybody else's position that's in front of me, right beside me. But I didn't understand it because not in the 10th grade, it wasn't taught to me. I was just there at the moment. It was taught to me, I'm sorry. It was taught to me, but I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. There's a difference. When things are taught to you, there's a timing that they hit you, that they resonate with you. You just gotta keep going through life, keep going through your, your, your phase. Because once they hit me, I'm like, oh, this is what it, it means to be a great player. I have to do things that's out of the ordinary. I have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. So that's what I did. I started studying. I started learning. I started practicing. I started working hard every day like it was a game. Now, don't get me wrong. Some practices wasn't, you know, wasn't the best practices, but I still showed up and, and perfected my talent like I need to develop. Not just my talent, my skill. This I was able to learn how to be an efficient player because I put the time in to study. I put the time in to work. I put the time in to learn. I put the time in to fail and grow and grow and fail. But I wasn't afraid of failure because I let failure be the lesson to me. So here's the thing about skill and talent. They will never be easy to obtain unless we're able to put the work in and identify this is going to be hard and say, I need to do this because if I don't do this, Nothing's going to come from it. When you have the power of understanding, you have the power of will. When you have the power of will, you have the power of growth. Once you have the power of growth, you're able to implement in your everyday life. So you, we have to understand, I had to understand that it was up to me to change my life. It was up to me to figure out how can I make these work, make this work. Not just How can I make this path that I'm on work, not just for me, but for everybody around me. I can't do that if I'm not putting this work in. I can't do that if I'm not getting up every single day to figure out what I need to do, what I need to learn from, or what I need to change and start growing. I know what I need to work on. As a public speaker, I need to speak every day. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to speak every day because if I'm not per perfecting my craft behind the scenes, when it's time for me to show up, it's going to be crappy. It is going to be crappy. But the thing about crappy is that you're able to learn from the crappiness it just happened. It's all about are you willing to learn? Are you willing to try? Are you willing to go through the phase? Life is not going to be easy. Life is going to be what you created to be. Now understand, 1% better each and every day shows how determined you are. Not only is it compounding, it's, it's helping you find who you are. It's helping you find your purpose. It's helping you find the path that you want to be on. It's helping you discover that it's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be trials and error, but this error is going to help you grow to the new version of yourself. Not just a new version, a new identity of yourself. So whenever you have a dream, whenever you have an understanding of life that you want to perceive it, understand you're not going to understand it in the beginning phase. Day one is going to be hard. Day two is going to be hard. Day three is going to be hard. Understand. It is going to be difficult, but if you give up on day two, you wouldn't understand what day 10 will bring to you, right? You have a dream, you have a goal, you have a vision, 
understand that, identify it, and walk in it. Not run in it, because if you run in it, you're going to miss what's happening. If you're walking in it, you're able to di- digest everything that just happened. Okay, why did this happen in it at this time? Okay, what did I learn? You're, there's always a lesson behind the, your process. Your process. What did you learn along the process as you're going through the phase? You will recognize it because you you will become a new version of yourself. You'll be a new identity, not just a new identity. You will be a better version of yourself because you understand the dynamics of the failure. You feel me?